Dude, if you like dirty plates so much, I could stop doing the dishes back at the treehouse. Hey, check it out. The dirty plate wasn't a symbol of lazy housekeeping. It was an actual symbol. get tired of looking at Ice King's ninja weapon collection. What a happy little snail. Hunter, check it out! A bottle! Why? Trade you the bottle for the broom? Why? That penguin sure loves breaking bottles. Nah, I don't think so. Gunter likes bottles better than brooms anyway. Never know when you might need a blowtorch, I guess. Weird. Who'd freeze a saw into a wall of ice? <laughs> The ninja broom is a wooden pole. Awesome, I guess. That broomstick will make an okay replacement for the missing bar, I guess. For a while, anyway. Okay, Ice King, your weight bench and drums are fixed. Still want to be in the band? Do I? <laughs> Just you try and stop me. Uh, but don't really try and stop me, because I want to be part of your thing, whatever it is. I just like being included in things, you know, from time to time. He's bumming me out, dude. Um, okay then. You work out or whatever you need to do, and we'll see you at the treehouse in a few hours. Roger that. I'll be there. Gunter! Bring me my tubby day spandex sweats. It's time for a turbo workout. I got flab to burn. Quack, quack. Dude, I can't watch that. Let's head over to Castle Lemongrab and figure out how we're gonna get him to come and annoy us at our house, too. Hmm, Lemongrab isn't here. Probably just as well. I mean, what are we gonna do to convince him to come to the treehouse and be in the band? We're not exactly on friendly terms. Yeah, I guess the only thing we can do is trick him somehow. You have to think of something that will get him worked up and make him want to come to our place. I got it. Lemon Hope. We can tell him that Lemon Hope is hiding out at our place. That'll definitely get his attention. Yeah, but he's never going to believe us. He has trust issues. What if we showed him Lemon Hope's musical instruments? Playing music was what Lemon Grab hated most about Lemon Hope. Yeah, good idea. Let's look around. Maybe Lemon Hope left an extra harp and flute around here somewhere. And if not, maybe we can make some fake ones that'll trick Lemon Grab. Thank you. 
Never hurts to have some extra string handy for craft projects and stuff. And now, I have some ripped up strips of cloth. Cool, I guess. Looks like Lemon Grab is rebuilding his reconditioning chamber. Probably started right after we wrecked it. Yeah, I don't think he knows any other way to control his peeps. Let's look around. Gotta be something in here we can use. Never know when you might want to make holes in something. Pretty nice screwdriver. I'm sure I'll find a use for it. There. Once again, Lemon Grab won't be able to use his reconditioning chamber. Plus, I have a cool looking switch. Good thinking. Never know when you'll need a wrench. Sweet! Now I have two iron pipes. A long one and a short one. It kind of looks like Lemon Hope's flute now. There's still something missing. Nice job, dude. Looks just like Lemon Hope's flute. That'll totally fool Lemon Grab. Nice. It looks just like the frame of Lemon Hope's harp. Check it out, Jake. Lemon Grab will totally think this is Lemon Hope's harp. Okay, we have a harp and a flute. That ought to convince Lemon Grab that Lemon Hope is hiding out at our place. Now all we have to do is find Lemon Grab. Let's go check the throne room. He hangs out there a lot. Here we go. Hey, what's up, Lemon Grab? How's it going? You! You have returned! I am still making repairs on the damage you did last time you were here! Your presence is unwelcome and unacceptable! Yeah, well, sorry we messed up your castle, Earl. But we have some news that will make you really happy. Well, if that's even possible, that is. What is this news of which you speak? We know where you can find Lemon Hope. He's hanging out at our treehouse, and he totally wants you to stop by and talk. Hmm. And I should very much like to talk to him as well. But you have proven yourselves untrustworthy. I would require proof that Lemon Hope is at your house. You got it. Check it out, Lemon Hope's harp. <laughs> the evil, evil harp that caused so much pain to my sensitive lemon ears. It hurts just to look at it. Here's Lemon Hope's flute. Nobody has a flute quite like this one. Yes, that appears to be his flute. His harp music offended my lemon sensibilities. However, the flute music was very cacophonous and therefore quite restful. Your evidence is compelling, and I now believe that the fugitive Lemon Hope is being harbored illegally in your home. I must prepare proper punishment for both Lemon Hope and those who would protect him. That's cool. Hey, wait, what? Now leave me. I will go now and tune the vibrations of my sound sword to optimum screech. When I have completed this task, I shall come to your tree dwelling and unleash the proper punishment on all who deserve it! 
I will then return Lemon Hope to his proper place here in a locked room of my castle. Okay, later! Jake, he totally bought it! Yeah, I can't say I'm too crazy about all that punishment talk, though. All that matters is that he'll be there waving around that sound sword and making noise, just like we need him to be. We can worry about the rest later. Come on, let's head back to Marceline's and find out who else we need to recruit to finish off the band. All right, Marceline. Ice King is on the drums, and Lemon Grab is heading to the treehouse with his sound sword. Probably with the intention of using it on us. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Cool. Now we just need a keyboard player and a singer. So, where do we get a keyboard and who's going to play it? We're in luck there. Princess Bubblegum says we can use her science keyboard no problem. And she's a good musician, but she can't be the one who plays it. Huh? Why not? Bonnebel's inspiration comes from her brain, which is great for science stuff, but not so much for music. Good music comes from the heart. And the best music comes from a broken heart. That's what we're gonna need if we're gonna make your record work again. Hey Finn, maybe we should get Flame Princess to play the keyboard. She broke your heart big time. Huh? What? No! I... What are you talking about? I'm not... She... Uh... <laughs> yeah, sounds like Flame Princess will be perfect. You can never have too much heartbreak in a song. Okay, fine. But I don't even know if Flame Princess knows how to play. Guess we'll find out. Hey, wait! Why do we need a singer? It's all about the magical mixing. We just need the right amount and tone of input noise to make the mix work perfectly. Well, if it's noise we're after, we should definitely get Lumpy Space Princess to sing for us. She's terrible! Yeah, but she's also mad at us. We messed up her chance to have her own kingdom, remember? Oh, yeah. Hey, if you guys can convince the Earl of Lemongrab to join the band, you can convince LSP. She might be grumpy, but there's nothing she likes better than the sound of her own voice. I'm sure you can pull it off. Hey, how come Princess Bubblegum's hanging around? She looks kind of upset. Oh, it's something about her clothes or something. For somebody who rules one of the biggest kingdoms in all of Ooh, she gets hung up on the silliest things sometimes. Mm, you should talk to her if you're worried about it. I'm not much on the whole fashion thing. Okay, Marceline. We'll do our best to get Flame Princess and LSP to join the band. Once they're in, are we ready to fix my record? Yep. I'll take the equipment over to the treehouse and wait for you there. After everything's set up and everyone gets there, we'll make your record good as new. Algebraic! Come on, Jake. First stop, the Fire Kingdom. Um, maybe we should talk to PB first. I don't want her to be so upset that she won't let us use her science keyboard. Yeah, I guess you're right. The record can wait until we fix PB's problem. <laughs> 